Hey, 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 everyone. Jeff C. here. It is October the 18th, Friday, and um, I'm not sure if you've seen it already, but I put up a very, very important video uh, late last night um, regarding the fracking that is going on, the protest that are going on. The native groups out of New Brunswick and the town of Rexton have been peacefully protesting for a few weeks now and all of a sudden an injunction was brought in and then all the RCMP showed up in camouflage gear and full brandishing you know automatic weapons and started to really bully people cars caught on fire um, there are people that sent me information saying that it was the RCMP themselves who lit the cars on fire in a way to trap the people tear gas was fired all these things happening so I did my video on it because um, I know a thing or two about fracking and I know almost everything about it is, is, is just awful and the effects that it has on people. And the worst thing, of course, about fracking is that you could be living somewhere your entire life, you could raise a family, and all of a sudden, one day, a fracking company just shows up and starts fracking in your own neighborhood and you have no say whatsoever 600 different types of chemicals released all these carcinogens and guess what too bad too bad because you know what psychopathic corporations control this planet they control our governments and they are hell-bent on doing whatever they can to make money and put people in whatever type of position that uh, they end up in they don't give a damn okay and I've been uh, under attack on Twitter all of a sudden just for reaching out uh, with other good people who are volunteering their time to try to reach people to warn about what is going on this fracking industry is taking over so many towns across North America people have no say all these health uh, disasters uh, befall these people once their town once their area starts getting fracked all these chemicals are released and nobody has any say so let's look on Twitter here and see what I'm talking about um, the conversation started a fellow here TX Sharon um, was showing how fracking industry to Americans get out of our way here people have a choice about many exposures there is no choice when fracking moves to your backyard exactly what I was saying and here is the executive working for a fracking company, Sean Barry, who's written all these um, very insulting tweets towards myself and many other people. Um, yes, there is. Move. Right? Move. Just get up and move. <laughs> you know, industry has come to your town. It's come to your home. Um, sorry, you lose because you know what? We own the politicians. We have the politicians in our back pocket, like the little coins that so many people like to carry around, right? They're they're just like uh, um, I got that quote from The Godfather. <laughs> I can't remember exactly, but let's look more at this conversation here. Um, you know, all of a sudden these fracking people start coming in. Um, here's the Sean Barry responding to me well the fractivists made it violent and endangers others uh th through throw them in jail right that's the that's the whole thing so these people that were peacefully protesting and all of a sudden the military shows up in full camouflage gear starts pointing weapons at elderly native women who are nothing doing nothing more than banging a little drum to raise awareness about what's going on and uh yeah let's just throw them all in jail um, you can look at some of these quotes. Here's another frack person that comes in. Don't think the RCMP threw the Molotov cocktails and burned their own cars. Well, other people are telling me that's exactly what they did. But even then, is it really all that important um, when you consider how much damage the fracking industry does to all these communities? I think a few cop cars are just collateral damage, really, when you look at the bigger bigger picture here you go responding to me um, as I said here let's compare the damage fracking does to a few burn cruisers the difference is astronomical um, so here the frack dock violence is acceptable to peaceful enviros yeah violence right the 
people were being thrown to the ground, arrested just for being protesting against what is going on, the rape of their, their homeland, all these treaties that have been ignored, all these native people that have been suffering uh, you know, for generations on end um, by all the treaties that have been broken. And here we go, TX Sharon, industry to first people, get out of the way, right? That's the whole thing. And um, I warned here, I said, just wait what will come when people learn the truth about fracking. If every single person that is affected by fracking actually knew, you know, what was going on, the health effects, everything that, that is happening, so here's a, a, a nice lady here who's writing, shale gas drilling is ruining people's lives. And she's got all kinds of information to back it up. Um, here now, all of a sudden, stay classy, buddy. Can always rely on your side for insults. <clears throat> really, eh? You're the one that first starting, started throwing the insults. Blanket statements without facts are not a part of the dialogue. Well, there's so many facts on it. Just Google it. Here, Sean Barry, treat them like terrorists, throw them in jail. Yeah, wonderful, eh? Here I responded to this jerk off. Awesome. True colors of the fracking <laughs> shining through. Psychopaths are perfect employees. Indeed, right? Psychopaths don't have empathy for other human beings. So they are the perfect executives to work for the fracking industry because they don't give a flying fuck about who, whose health that uh, is ruined whose you know um homes whose towns are ruins they don't care they don't care anything right um here we're told by the the uh, fracking guy stop your whining don't don't you have a wind powered cucumber to go play with uh, or are you using corn no monsanto has already taken our corn and destroyed it just like you're going to take our towns and destroy them right so this is the kind of shit that happens when you try to push out some videos exposing fracking and what's going on and just taking a different turn than the mainstream corporate media, right, who I showed in my video the other day, had no concern whatsoever about why the protests were there. All the, all the headlines said, burning cars, Molotov cocktails, protests get violent. That's all they say. And then if you read deep into it, you read into their story, all they talk about is is the violence, right? The burning cop cars, 40 people arrested, the the uh, police just trying to do their job, and then they're interviewing the politicians who are being paid by the fracking industry. <laughs> right? As I said before, here's Sean Barry just referring to someone as a complete idiot and feel sorry if she has any offspring. That's that's very classy of you. So again, I respond that psychopaths are the perfect employees for psychopathic corporations. Great job, Shill. Exactly. That is what corporations are. If you ever get a chance, watch the movie The Corporation, um, in which they break down the mentality of corporations. And corporations are indeed psychopathic in their nature, in their in their thinking, in every way, shape, or form. They don't give a fuck about what is happening to people. So all this stuff is is going on. There's still many um, more. As usual, anyone who supports fracking is an industry shill. Well, you know, just look there. The frack doc re refuses to cede the fracking debate to mis misinformed activists. I mean, this guy's the definition of a shill. <laughs> He's a complete... Sean, Sean Barry? Let's take a look at uh, Sean Barry. Teaching and educating people of the importance of oil and natural gas, exposing these false claims of fractivists, all opinions are my own, yet he works for Colorado's gas country, right? So all this stuff is going on, and it's, it's, it's just, it's hilarious. It's sad, it's pathetic, and it's, it's what they do. Um, you know, this is the battle that we're constantly up against. We have shills, disinfo agents, everything you can think of. Uh, people are paid by the fracking industry to go on Twitter, to go on um, Facebook and, and YouTube and whatever else 
to try to uh, disseminate this information, this misinformation that fracking is it's just sweet, it's good, it brings jobs, it brings money, 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 money. Yes, 600 different chemicals are released. You know, the 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 fracking um, liquid that they put in, only about 50% of it ever comes back. All these things, I've showed it. You've got to watch the other video that I put up where I broke it down and I showed all the things that comes as a result of fracking. And uh, we're not going to fracking take it anymore. All right? We're just not fracking going to take it. And uh, it's about time people wake up en masse and thank you to the native peoples, the, the native groups of New Brunswick and right across Canada with the... Um, Idle no more, protest. Um, God bless you. Um, whatever gods you pray to, <laughs> you are doing the righteous, and um, you will win in the end. We will all win. Humanity will win. Humanity will beat these corporations that care nothing about humanity. So there you go. Leave your comments below. All the best.